a golden era for steeplechasing. One of the greatest figures who bestrode jump racing like a colossus was the great Fred Winter. He retired early in the decade, but became one of the most successful trainers of all time. It was in 1957 that Fred knew the greatest thrill any jockey can experience. Riding Sundew, he led the field all the way from Beecher. Holding off the rest, he won the Grand National for the first time. in 62 and that great combination Winter and Kilmore in the lead over the last fence and staying there right to the post. In June of the same year, Fred had one of the worst experiences in his career. He was riding Mandarin in the Grand Steeplechase of Paris. 20 fences to go and the bit broke. You can see it dangling around Mandarin's neck as Fred goes on, not only to finish, but to win. Only supreme horsemanship can do that. So back to Cheltenham, where to mark the retirement of this superb jockey, Fred was presented with a silver cigarette case and a silver statuette. Now, instead of riding him, he'll be training him. Mandarin and Fred Winter bowed out following that epic victory in Paris. And their departure left a void. But amazingly, Fulk Woolwin